This video is sponsored by Ratchet Clothing. The website will be listed in the description below. The year was 1969 and a commission meeting took place in Catania, Sicily. Present were members of the Sicilian Mafia. The commission was made up of leading members of Cosa Nostra. But one member in particular, Augustino Coppola, differed from the rest. That same year he became a man of honor. Not surprising since his mentor was none other than Luciano Leggio, the head of the Colleonesi. Augustino's uncle, Francesco Coppola, nicknamed Frank Three Fingers after losing two of his fingers during a robbery, was a major drug trafficker. He immigrated to the United States where he had links to the Detroit Partnership. What set Augustino Coppola apart from the other bosses was that he was also the Paris priest in Carini, Sicily. In fact, on April 16, 1974, he performed a marriage ceremony for Antonetta Bagarella and Salvatore Totorina. The wedding took place in Senisi, Sicily, where Reina's friend and Andrangheta boss, Domenico Tripoto, stood in for him as best man, which shed some light about the ties these organizations had and how they most likely worked together at times. The following month, Augustino would be arrested for his involvement in the kidnapping of Luciano Casino, the son of a prominent Palamo businessman. He avoided conviction, but was charged for other kidnappings, where he used his role as a priest to not only negotiate with the victim's families, but to collect ransom money as well. He was not only sentenced to 14 years, but received a second sentence by canon law, where the Catholic Church excommunicated him, the most serious penalty the Church could inflict. Augustino would claim that he was guilty only of having a good heart. Once he was released and free from the bond of celibacy, he married into the Caruna family, headed by Leonardo Caruna. Don Augustino lost a battle with lung disease and died in February 1995. I found it interesting how the Sicilians would induct a priest, and supposedly this was not the first one they inducted. I don't believe this ever took place here within New York's Cosa Nostra, although many people believe Father Louis Giganti became a member of the Genovese family due to his brother being the boss, but I never heard that to be true. I hope you enjoyed the story about Don Augustino. There's not much information about him, but I still felt it was interesting. You could hit the like button if you want, and I appreciate all who do. Hope you enjoyed the story. If you would like to subscribe to this channel, you can do so down below. If you would like to subscribe to my other channel, Unlimited Substance Podcast, I'll add a link in the description to this video.